Today I want to share with you guys the small bucket bag from Nena & Co in the amazing Jasmine Artisan fabric. All right, you guys, this is an awesome, super cute, small bucket bag. It comes in either this um, bone color, which is so gorgeous, or also a cafe color, which is a beautiful brown. I actually have on the interior the wallet in the cafe, so you can see what that looks like next to this awesome artisan fabric. You guys have heard me talk about Nena & Co before. They make amazing handmade bags. This one, I believe, is from um, Guatemala, so the artisan fabric that you see here is all handmade woven I actually have another piece here hanging off to the side um, just for a little extra space but this particular fabric was so pretty to me I just love the light fun kind of pastel colors especially for um, like spring and summertime this bag does come with a shoulder strap here it is a rolled strap so it has a little bit of squish to it it's really comfortable on your shoulder actually and I really like the length of it it fits well underneath my arm perfect place where I can like kind of move it around and grab for the different items that I need. But one of the reasons why I went with the bone color is I also have a bone bag from Mina Bay and Mina Bay has the long strap in the bone color so I figured I would try it out when the bag came and see if the colors matched at all and I feel like they're close enough I mean, they're a little bit off, but I feel like it's close enough to work. And the hardware is a little bit different, but you don't really notice it too much once it's on. But that way, I have the option of having the shorter strap or having the longer strap and being able to throw this bag on crossbody. Um, they also have crossbody options on the Nena & Co website. But I just wanted to show you that you kind of think outside the box, work with what you have, and just make your bags what you want them to be. So I have been loving this for like a little minimal purse for myself. I'm also really minimal I can also fit like a diaper and wipes and a baby bottle in here so it's a very nice stuffable bag I think it is like padded it's nice and squishy but it does stay upright and keep its shape on the bottom you do get some feet and I love how um, this cinch is closed and I really like the cute tassel detail there at the bottom of the drawstring one thing that I wish this bag had that it's missing is some sort of like snap closure I really wish that even though you have the drawstring I I wish there was like a little snap right there just to keep the inside a little more secure. Um, I have seen on um, Nena & Co's um, Facebook page, some people have said that they've gone to someone local and had a snap added. I think that's an awesome idea, so that's something that I might do as well. I forgot to mention all the leather that Nena & Co uses is a beautiful full grain leather. Very nice high quality. You can see there the Nena & Co logo on the drawstring. And when you move that piece down, you can open this bag really nice and wide and as you can see I have it packed with quite a lot so let me go through it and show you the organization and what I have in here first of all I did want to mention this little piece on the outside is something extra that you can purchase on their website it does have like a fun shape to it and the zipper goes around the side in here you have a slip pocket that's where I'm keeping my hand sanitizer and then down here I just have a few little drink mix-ins I usually have my earbuds in there as well but I took them out to use them I have my phone right on top and then I have a package of wet ones I also have my phone charger and the biggest piece in there is going to be my Lily Jade packing case. I love the clear ones just because it's easy to see what I've got going on on the inside. This is just a bunch of different toiletries and sunscreen. I have some makeup in there as well, but it fits really perfectly horizontally inside the bag. You do get a key leash and that is where I have attached my keys. Now you have a back zippered pocket and you also have the beautiful Nena & Co logo there. So in this zippered section, I am keeping a couple of different snack options. I have one of those mini kind bars and also a Nature Valley um, biscuit. Let's flip this around. You have another slip pocket right here on this side. And in here, I'm keeping a package of gum. I have a lip gloss in there. Then the really cute wallet that matches the artis artisan fabric. You can see this comes in the cafe leather. That's what that looks like. Let me show you what their cafe looks like next to the fabric. 
They're both super, super cute options. And all of that fit really nicely into that section there. What I love about this is the interior is also a hand woven um, fabric. It's just gonna be like a little bit more neutral. Um, they've used this fabric for quite a few of their interiors in their bags and it's just a really nice design there. So that is the small bucket bag from Nena & Co. They do have um, a couple of other sizes. There's the medium size and the large size as well. If you would like to see a comparison between any of the sizes, please let me know down in the comments comments. Let me just give you one last look at the amazing colors that you get in this fabric. Just such pretty pastels. Let me know if you have any questions about this bag down in the comments. I will be sure to link them and co so you can easily go check them out and find their website. They usually drop new items every Wednesday and Friday mornings. So be sure you're following their Instagram so you can see what's dropping the day before and plan what you're going to try and purchase for the next day. Their items tend to go really fast, but I actually think this is still up on their website. So if you're loving this style, I would go snatch it right now before it sells out. Thank you so much for joining me. I will let you get back to the rest of your day and I will see you soon for my next review.